we really wanted to hammer into the mechanics of how erosion actually works in these rivers and how that affects how they're shaped as a function of that erosion. And so Johnson's shut-ins is a really good place to do that because of how it looks. So a shut-in is a part of a river where the river has to run through more resistant bedrock. And so to erode that stronger rock, it needs to exert more power. And so to do that, it can get steeper and it can also get narrower. Johnson shut-ins are really cool because of the very unique rock formations. So you can walk rock to rock along a very large stretch of river and then three separate pools that are very popular for wading and swimming. Well, a lot of people just asked, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> and I would kind of give a very short little spiel, basically saying, oh, we're trying to figure out how strong the rocks are. We're trying to take photos of the rocks. So it's very evident that we were not there for recreation. Geospatial science is basically a combination of maps and information technology and it really touches many, many fields of study. And so here at WashU, we're trying to develop a new initiative to help people in earth science, in the social sciences, in architecture, in archeology, span in ecology, in many different fields that can try to use understanding location as some aspect of their science. So we collect information by basically flying this drone that has this LiDAR unit on it. And the way the LiDAR works is it emits a laser beam and it basically makes a very high precision measurement of the distance between where the LiDAR unit is and some object. What we're able to do with drone-based LiDAR is that we can collect millions of points and get topographic data at a resolution closer to something like a centimeter or a couple centimeters. So our change detection can actually catch erosion on the order of a year. Exposing students to the most cutting edge methods for data collection would be a really big deal for preparing students to either enter academic research or to enter the workforce after graduation. Yeah, right, vertical low. I think it's really exciting to have access to all this, being able to learn with all these different tools so young into my professional career. Anything river related I think is super applicable because you have so much infrastructure in rivers that rely on knowledge of how they erode, how they change over time, what impacts rock strength. All those types of questions are really tied to infrastructure and engineering questions. What's really exciting about what we're doing there, looking at the topography and Johnson Shuttons being so close, is now we can look at how it's eroding through time across floods of different sizes as they come through that area.